After covering 240 and 360, it's time to go with the 420 as well. And we're talking here about Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 420 addressable RGB. Well, you already know almost everything when it comes to mounting mechanism and how it comes packed. Uh, basically, the packaging when we're talking about the 420 is almost the same as the Liquid Freezer 2. So the half pyramid or whatever half triangle uh, and <laughs> it really doesn't matter but compared to 240 and 360 this is the smallest accessory box that you get and i don't know why it's just quite compact i would say but regardless of that that doesn't have to do literally anything when we're talking about actual review so as you remember in 240 and 360 fans come pre-installed and everything is pre-connected so you don't have to worry if this position of the fans suit you properly you don't have to worry much about connecting anything except for the addressable rgb since we are talking about addressable rgb liquid freezer 3 and that's basically all the only thing that you do have to connect is the connection from the pump block top to your motherboard and it comes in the same way you have two cables one is basically taking control of everything that spins here so the pump vrm fan and the fans on the radiator and the other one is actually a splitter so you have uh, three connections one pwm is for the pump one is for the vrm fan and one is for these three fans on the radiator so it's really straightforward what i have to say what I noticed is that loads of you guys that want to go with that three splitter uh, connection when we're talking about VRM pump and the fans, uh, you're talking about too much cables running from this part right here. And some did mention that there is a canal, right? So let's check it out. We have the connection right here on the right side. So we're looking at straight to from the from the case straight to the case and on the right side you have the connection when you place the vrm fan and the cover on the pump there aren't any canals here inside this cover or the vrm fan and uh, it's quite straightforward the cables need to go on the side because when you place the cover top you do have one opening here at the bottom but it's so small and you have to bend the cables so drastically that i wouldn't suggest doing that so this is just what i want to uh, go and discuss a bit that part so the only thing that you could do is tie them up somehow or just twist them around so they kind of create one cable let's put it this way and uh, that's basically it so what i did here is i wanted to do a small comparison and this comparison with 420 will go a bit further when i do another 420 aao quite shortly in next couple of days so using the NV9, because I used it uh, for their uh, Glacier 1 420 DRGB uh, AIO. Now comparing those two, it's quite interesting results. Because in AIDA 64 Extreme Edition, you get CPU at 83 with Liquid Freezer 3 420. We're talking about AMD Ryzen 9 7900X3D, while Fantex Glacier 1 goes up to 92. But the difference is in clock speeds as well. So you get lower clock speeds with Liquid Freezer 3 4875. Well, the Glacier 1 gets 4,925, so that's 5 megahertz higher for the Fentex Glacier 1. The GPU in that case, in that scenario, stays the same. And then what happens in Cinebench is quite outstanding, because when you compare those two in Cinebench, you get total opposite from AIDA 64. So Cinebench for Fentex Glacier 1 started at 85, ended at 81. Liquid Freezer 3 started at 77, went up to 78, got down to 74, and ended up at 77. The clock speeds for the Glacier 1 go from 4950 to 5025, while the Liquid Freezer 3 go from 4950 to 49, 4925 to 4975. Let's put it this way. So an average is 4950 when we're talking about clock speeds. And now when we're talking about the scores, Fantex Glacier 1, 26,653, this is where it starts and it ends at 27,000, while Liquid Freezer 3 starts at 27,052 and kind of circulates quite nicely around 27,000, only once going beneath it. So it performs quite nice, I do have to say, and uh, comparing it, well, comparing it to Fantex Glacier 1, we get much lower thermals, uh, depending on the, I would say, not the application, but uh, benchmark and everything that you 
you saw it actually depends how the processor will actually work. We have full load in AIDA64 because it uses system memory, cache, uses uh, SSD and uses GPU at the same time. So it's loading it much more than only Cinebench where it's only loading the CPU at 100%. So this is kind of combination of everything, but regardless of that. Uh, one couple of specs that you need to know as well. So it supports LGA1700 and AMD AM5 and AM4. You get MX6 thermal compound inside the box, in the accessory box. And we have three P14 PWM addressable RGB fans, which are 140 times 140 times 27. When we're talking about thickness, 27 plus 38 is 65 millimeters of total thickness of the fans plus the radiator. The VRM fan spins from 400 to 2500 RPMs, pump spins from 800 to 2800 RPMs, and the fan spin from 200 to 1900 RPMs. Least to say that this AIO is dead silent, and uh, even without, uh, even at higher RPMs, it really is quiet compared to some other AIOs, but in this scenario, we take into consideration that we have 140 instead of 120, which are usually louder than 140 because they need to spin much higher to achieve higher performance and stuff like that. But I don't want to go into that discussion now in this video. So what can I say about this 420, taking into consideration the results and everything and actually having a constant 27,000 in Cinebench that I can give a PC Crazy Performance badge without a doubt and checking out the price tag and everything all together specifically because i don't know if that uh, huge discount was is still on but for 420 this is definitely a best buy so pc crazy best buy badge as well in those terms links are below so you can check out well basically all liquid freezers that you desire from black to white and rgb it's all up to you to decide how and uh, what will you combine That'll be all for today. Don't forget to sub, hit the like button, click the notification bell, and I will see you in another video. Thanks. Bye-bye.